It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New York Jets and the Denver Broncos. And it's coming up next. An absolutely perfect fall afternoon for football. And we are under bright blue Colorado skies and in power field at Mile High in Denver. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the Denver Broncos. Brandon Gordon here in Denver, joined by Charles Davis and CD. The Broncos are looking for a turnaround here in 2023. Coming off a five-win season and a last-place finish in the AFC West, but this doesn't feel like a last-place team. Nor to me, because when you look at them on offense, loaded with skill position players at wide receiver and running back and then flip it over to the defensive side of the ball and they can compete with anyone they make it tough to run your offense but meanwhile for the jets you know even putting the quarterback situation aside this is an exciting time for them right now yeah they were just seven and ten last year i get that but they're building a roster that's potentially got some future stars involved they certainly are remember Going 7-10, and 10, they were 7-3 and three at one point last season. And they finished the year with the offensive and defensive rookies of the year. So you know that this roster is really on the rise. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by Zach Wilson, former second overall pick, now in his third season out of BYU. And we all know the scouting report on him. He can attack the field right at all levels with a very strong arm and make big time plays off schedule. We also see a player with confidence and swagger. We see a guy who knows how to lead a team, who knows how to compete, and wants to be great every time he hits the field. Here's Wilson to throw right away. And his first pass is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Wilson. They're able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Throwing is Wilson. That is caught. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Wilson. A well-executed 22-yard gain. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Throwing again here, Wilson. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Now Wilson. 
And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. And that is not what you expect from a receiver of his caliber. Sometimes you get a little ahead of yourself. You don't look it in, and all of a sudden it's off the ground. A surprise to all. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. Play action. It's Wilson. He's got his target. That's complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. They get the USC man, Elijah Vera Tucker. Still third down. The seventh play now, this opening drive. This is third and long, though. Now it's Wilson. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. A bad time for a roughing penalty, and they get the gift of a first and ten. Left side, Cook. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Some big plays in the passing game on this drive, and here's one out of the running game. So the passing game, loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. They'll run with Cook. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. Here's where we need to see some tenacity from this defense because they've been pushed right down the field on this opening drive. They've got to find some way to push back, and that's a good first step. Second and goal from inside the five. Cook is going to go backwards. He'll lose yardage back to the five. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft, and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. On third and goal, Wilson. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. So Wilson runs off, and now they will go to the man they call Greg the Leg, Greg Zerline. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Zerline's kick is up and through. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Well, the Broncos' offense gets set to go to work, and at the helm in his second season wearing orange and blue, Russell Wilson. And similar to his nickname, Russell Wilson has a dangerous mix of skills, the ability to throw from the pocket and extend plays and throw on the run. Not to mention an absolute winner. Usually has his team in the playoffs competing for Super Bowl opportunities. Wilson and the Broncos now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. 
Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gain from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. From the shotgun, Wilson. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. C.J. Mosley, the linebacker, making sure his presence is felt. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive. Then you get a big sack there on third down. And you make the home crowd go, shh. There is a hush indeed. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. It's taken to the 26. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And the Jets will take over. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Wilson and that'll be good for eight yards to the 45 nothing fancy on first down but a very consistent type of a play hit that slant a lot of people call it an extension of the running game and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that he often can go for big yardage sets him up nicely for second down staying ahead of schedule uh, give to cook out of the gun it's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. Ten yards is the pickup, good enough for a Jet first down. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. They run again on first down, Cook. And he's got it to about the 40. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second down and six now. Wilson. Finds Lazard quickly on the slant. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 29-yard line. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slam. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. First down, here's the run with Cook. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. So give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. Again, it's Cook. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, Took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. So Wilson runs off, and now they will go to the man they call Greg DeLay, Greg Zerline. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that will make it six to nothing. 
So scores on their first two possessions, but 6-0, so field goals, probably not what they were hoping for. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. Not what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this case, though, they want to be slow and steady now, but get explosive later and put the points up on the board. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play. Yeah. That too. <laughs> and throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. A man who was lost for the year in week four last season. Here's Javante Williams. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Third and nine here. To throw is Wilson. And that is incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. Riley Dixon now to punt it away. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Jets will take over first and 10. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. 64 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating him up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, you've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, knock it loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackling. He'll get this to Lazard. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. So the completion there, Charles, looking at this defense, certainly in for a tough task here this afternoon. What are some of the keys for them if they want to come out on top? Well, the first thing, partner, is they just allow the completion there. They don't want to get a string of those going. Let him get his confidence. Let him get into the rhythm of the game, the flow of the game, and all of a sudden, he's feeling like he can do no wrong. You want to really get after his timing a little bit, knock a few balls away, and make things uncomfortable for him, because if he feels relaxed, you are in for a tough afternoon. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They go play action now. Wilson buying time to his left. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. 6-0 our score after one. The Jets with the football here to start the second quarter. As they've got it second and seven.
Here's Wilson. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Wilson, a tough throw there across his body. It's incomplete. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there. Tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. A third field goal of the first half. Not what they're looking for as they come up on third down. They'll try the middle with Cook. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, and he is in. Touchdown, New York. Dalvin Cook, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Jets are able to stretch out their lead. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals before this one they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the lead now stands at 13. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And he'll very wisely take a knee here as he'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That's a gain of 13 as they try to whittle away at this 13-point deficit. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They go play action with Wilson. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Now a give up the middle to Williams. 
And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. 17 yards for the Broncos there as they've got themselves a first down. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. On first down, Wilson. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. And a stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a Jet was shaken up on that one. We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Up the middle, it's Williams. And he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. Early down stuffs to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Now third down and very long. Here's Wilson to throw. Screenplay set up for Williams. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. The kick by Watts is good. Well, not too long ago, Charles, that would have been a new NFL record. But instead, it's shy of setting the record, which is 66, but still from 65 away, one of the longest kicks in league history. And that puts him in elite company in the NFL. Only a few have ever even attempted that, let alone put it through the post. How about his moment? It came together for him, and he delivered. Field goal, lots to kick it away. And the mile high air in full effect as that's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And you see Dalvin Cook and the offense heading back out. Handful of carries last time out there. Finish it off, Charles, with a short touchdown run. Yeah, and that's pretty nice for him to be able to do that because normally where they were on the field, it's going to take some muscle to get in there, right? It's going to take some power because things are so stacked up. Well blocked, and he was able to get into the end zone somewhat safely. Yeah, that's the thing. Several of those carries last drive, he had some good holes, some good options. Well, throw on first down with Wilson. Completes it to Hardman. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Cook with a run on first down, but he'll only manage a couple there before he's taken down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going, and then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. On oh, second down, it's Cook again. And the defense on him quickly there as they stop him at the 40 for a gain of just two. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The Jets on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This will be third and five. Here's Wilson. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. 
And here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. The Broncos are about set to go on offense. The last time I remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. well it's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. Again from the 20 after the incompletion, here's second and 10. From the gun, it's Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A gain there of 21 yards. I am willing to bet that he got a monster grin on his face when he saw what was happening. Man Cubs were so committed to denying a big throw that it pulled attention away from him, and he had an easy lane to hit, and hit it he did. Now Wilson on first down. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Quentin Jefferson, what a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. Throwing on second and long. Wilson got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. Quentin Jefferson. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. You doing okay over there, partner? Because that's yet another sack in this game that you just had to call. We're not even at halftime yet. No wonder this team has the lead. What an effort by the defense right from the word go. The adjustments at halftime, they're going to have to be big, or this could really get ugly in the second half. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. And you see Dalvin Cook in the offense heading back out. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Now Wilson down around his goal line. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down. Even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Here's second and ten. Getting the ball is Cook running left. And some space here. And he'll be out right at the 35. 
124 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first down. I don't think that's what the defensive coordinator had in mind there. You got him pinned back inside the five, and then you let him rip off that long run. You're already anticipating the film session, aren't you? There's going to be some anger. Yeah, it's not going to be at the greatest hits, is it? Because they didn't hit anyone on that play. Supposed to have him pinned back deep. Instead, they leave a big crack, a gaping hole, and guess what? They're in a bad position right now. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. That's complete right side to Lazard. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. On second down, Wilson. In trouble, and he's taken down. He couldn't get away. He'll wind up losing a dozen yards, a 12-yard loss, and it brings up third. All about the offense so far this drive, putting something sustained together. But the defense, they responded on that play. Second and manageable became third and long. The drive marching to the end zone is one play from stalling out. So now Wilson and the Jets with a third and long here following the sack. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. Pulled in at the 24. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And the Broncos take over. First down and 10. And Denver getting set to take the field. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left. More than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. We've already seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Wilson. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half, and now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. This will be fielded at the 17. We'll call that a 49-yard punt, but a net of just 39 following the 10-yard return. And it will be first to 10 as they take over. The Jets going to take over now late in this first half. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. First and ten, it's Wilson. And that is incomplete. Now oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. 
as his old brain remembers. When I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Now a second and ten. Now Wilson. Oh, the out route, he finds Hardman. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. A nickel set defensively for the Broncos here on third down. Throwing is Wilson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Open man here is Conklin. And nothing to speak of there after the catch as they get him right to the ground at the 37. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This from 54 yards away. Zerline's kick is up and through, and the lead stretches 16 to three now. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, they've still been able to come away with points due to his leg. Four seconds, all that remain here this first half as the kick gets away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Jets on top. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. It was the veteran Dalvin Cook who took center stage in that first half. He's already over 100 yards rushing for the game and has a touchdown run as well. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. It'll be the Broncos getting the football first in this second half as they trail, and we are back underway. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. And the Broncos' offense set to begin this third quarter. In well, the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense has thrown at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive. 
but get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw taken in by Sutton. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That's what we were hoping to see out of Williams last season before a torn ACL four weeks in. Ruined expectations that he could join the top tier of NFL running backs. That type of upside remains, though. And Denver certainly prepared to help him unlock it as he returns to full strength. Now it's Wilson. Steps away to his left. And smartly going into the slide there, Wilson has it up for the first. Opted to run for it, the decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw, but that's only half the battle because they've got to get to him before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there, so he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in trouble. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. That's a room to run now. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. 55 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams to the 27-yard line. Offensives would praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. Play action. It's Wilson. And the pass is caught. Touchdown, Denver. Jerry Judy. A great effort there. 27 yards. And the Broncos have got it back to within a score. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard and you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Lux with the extra point, and the lead will shrink to six. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it ends with a Denver touchdown. Touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. So here's the Jets' offense now as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson over the middle and complete to Wilson. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 30 yard line. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. In motion right is Wilson. A oh, fake on the jet sweep as they run with Cook up the middle. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. They'll say no gain on the play there. Now it'll be third down. He 
He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? Wilson. And he's unable to haul it in. So it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field. And that brings up fourth. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. This is taken at the 15. A terrific return there, 27 yards all told. And that will come the offense as they take over. So the Broncos coming out now. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. So first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos at their own 42. He'll hand this to Williams to start things out. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a forced throw could doom your chances of a comeback. So that's the right call there to just throw that one away. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now it's Wilson. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. The former third overall pick, Quinnen Williams there to bring him down. It has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football. See, that's now five sacks. How'd you like to be the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coach trying to come up with an answer for this pass rush? What blocking assignments do you change? Can guys play a little bit better? And we're seeing the end result on the scoreboard. Long day in the pocket for their quarterback. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. That'll be a 48-yard punt, one yard on the return. And they will take over first and 10. The New York set to take the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. And he roams across the 20 to the 24-yard line. 130 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. From the 24 now, here's second and three. They run it again with Cook. Ooh, what a, there he goes left side. Oh, some strong running. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. Good, strong, explosive run that started inside, which means you've got to control those defensive linemen, the defensive tackles, the nose guards. Those guys have to be controlled. How about the offensive line, the job they just did? Yeah, key that A-gap usually on those runs, right? That's where it all starts because everyone wants to kind of control that area. It disrupts things from the defensive side and the offensive side. As we just saw, it opens up possibilities. So eight yards on the completion there, and they'll be left with second and a couple. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up, and making sure it was a catch. Oh, 
This one finds Wilson downfield. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Second and short. That's a rundown. So it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. To throw is Wilson. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. So five yards here, five on the play. And that will bring up second down. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course, you gotta <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. Fighting his way in for a Jets touchdown. Delvin Cook, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Jets are able to widen their advantage. When you talk about certain guys just having a nose for the end zone, he's one of them, and he was not gonna be denied there. And defensively, especially in the red zone, you've got to be able to at least slow him down and hold on for dear life. But he's able to get out of a couple of tackles there, and not enough people got there in time. Pretty poor on the defensive side of the ball. Wilson going to throw for it. And this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. So they go with a pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is. And I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in. But with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches, and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two-point periods in practice now, something they never really did before. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Denver's offense now set to go. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Wilson and the Broncos now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Here's Williams to start the drive. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Play action. Now Wilson. And that's going to be caught by Sutton. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 22 yards there, a first down. And that's one of the better plays we've seen this offense put together so far. They haven't been able to get on track much at all. But listen, they're only down a couple of scores with the rest of this quarter and the entire fourth remaining. So, stranger things have happened. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Now a 10th carry. Here's Williams. And he'll be taken down right around the 41-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Williams going to get it again on second down. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So from the 36 now, first and 10.
Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. And he will find his man Sutton. That's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Right about 20 yards on the pickup. And officially they'll say it's going to go for 19. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. And they'll send Judy in motion left. And they'll fake the jet sweep, and instead of give up the middle to Williams. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Second down and four. Here's Wilson to throw. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Here's Wilson. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. In the red zone, precision is the watchword. If the throw's a little too early, too late, maybe off a little bit, going to be a good chance that any attempt is going to be a contested one, and that one falls incomplete. The kick by Lutz is good, and that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. Man, confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them, they feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Welcome back now to Denver. It's Jet football as they've got the lead here, and we get set to begin quarter number four. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Here's Cook again, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them, because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. So possession goes over here on the punt. Denver's offense ready to go again. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. 
go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. They begin the drive with Williams. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. I if they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Balled it to 26, second and seven. Now Wilson. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Quinnen Williams picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. It's third and long now for Wilson and the Broncos after that sack. Looking to throw. Wilson. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up Ford. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. Here's Riley Dixon now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. Now the Jet offense about to take over as they head out onto the field. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10. Right at the 30. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Second and 10. From the shotgun, Wilson. Completes it to Hardman. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Jets move the chains. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because, to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Wilson will throw again. And he comes back with one complete. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 37. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. The passing game continues to be their friend. Even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles, they're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame him? Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. Late in the game, he's certainly doing everything in his power to buy time for his guys to make the play, but in this case, he's surrounded, and all he has room to do is to get back to the line of scrimmage. The Jets on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This is third and ten. 
Wilson. And that is incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This from 54 yards away. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. So that may be not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist, but time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line for the same result, and he opted for the touchback. And coming out now, the Broncos. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And yeah, that's just a solid, good physical run there as he motors for nine yards. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size... This intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 14 yards there and a Denver first down. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Over the middle, complete to Judy. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well good yardage on the completion there when they look at the scoreboard they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good my guess they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible wilson's throw here caught by mims and he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. You know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. It sort of looks like they stopped some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Again, Wilson. And his throw here is incomplete. Tommy's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. On third down, Wilson. Finding Sutton on the out route, who makes a catch. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll be fourth down. 
So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Broncos unable to convert here on fourth. And the Jets are going to get the football back. So still over three minutes remaining in this game, but boy, not getting that when that hurt. That's a little bit demoralizing, so they have to be careful about that because still have an opportunity if they can get some things done on defense. But now, since they've taken over on downs, a team with the ball, guess what? Going to four-minute offense, maybe they can put this thing away. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and ten. At the 33-yard line. They'll try and wind down some clock with Cook. Takes it to about the 37. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Second down, they go right back to Cook. And some pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. That good for 19 at a first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners taking care of the football because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here. Second and 11. Again, it's Cook. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Here's Wilson. Of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So first and ten now from the 30. Cook up the gun. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. So from the 25, this is second and five. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he will have a Jets first down, and that should just about do it. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, Keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. The Jets with victory seemingly in hand. They take the knee. 
Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right? Just us against the world and get it done. <laughs> How happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn.